Hi guys, this is Grace Pamela at Samana.com and I'm going to show you how to use Dark and Moody presets in Lightroom Cloud and then Lightroom Classic after that. So if you are wanting to learn how to do it in Classic, um, you can wait until the end and then I will show you how to do that as well. Okay, so we have another video tutorial on how to upload these. Um, I, you can see I have them uploaded right here already. So the first thing we're going to do is I have um, my image that I want to use the presets on. And what I'll do is I'll go through and I can kind of just hover over them to see if I want to adjust the exposure at all. This is just kind of like a quick way. You can also use the slider here um, if you'd like to do it. Otherwise, if you want to use all presets, it's possible through here as well. Um, this one is pretty well exposed. What I like to do is I usually like to, it, unless it's like severely underexposed or overexposed, I will use these for after. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to skip ahead to the base. Now these are all presets that are completely done for you. And some of them will look lovely on some photos and some of them won't look so great. So that's why there's so many of them. So you have lots of options here for you to um, find one that works best for your photo. So each photo is going to be completely different, um, or I should say each session, because generally a session will use the same um, settings that you have, whether um, it's in studio or whether it's outdoors, it's all going to be different. Um, okay, so what you do is you hover over the base presets and you can kind of see um, what might work for each image and it's lots of fun. What you can do too is you can save each um, image like after you apply a preset and then you can go save it and then upload it with a different file name and then that's kind of a neat way too that you can combine and mix um, presets. Another thing you can do also is um, uh, you can also get the fader plugin and that will let you um, adjust the intensity of the preset, which is really neat to have too. So you have that control. Okay, so as you can see, there's lots of different presets here. I'm just kind of going through them to show you. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and select a preset so I can show you the rest of them. It's pretty simple. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and choose cinematic here and then I'm going to go down and then you can see that there's some more presets um, that are kind of like add-ons and they let you edit them even more. So you can add hazy light, uh, save highlights, bright and white if it's not um, bright enough for you, add more color, uh, reset mood, add grain, texture and sharpness. Um, you can add smoothness if you want it more like painterly, vignette. Uh, you can adjust the level and then you can reset the whole thing as well. So um, there's lots of options here for you. It's pretty simple, but it, it's all done for you. And that's why you don't even really need much of a tutorial. But it's more so me showing you um, all the different things that you can do. Um, and again, each image is going to be completely different. So it's lots of fun to go through and see all the different um, effects that you can have. And you can go as dark and moody as you want, or you can even go brighter if you want. It completely depends on your taste and what you like. Um, obviously, this one I'm kind of going for a colorful, but moody, um, uh, kind of like a painterly mood here. Okay, so here's the before and after for that one. And it only takes a few minutes. That's the nice thing about presets, is it really only takes just a few minutes to get a really nice look. Um, so I'm just kind of showing you some examples here. Uh, the other thing, too, is when you have your preset um, set for you, after you find a look that you like, you can also go in and edit it more 
when um, going through these settings here. So if you want to apply the base preset and then you can go in here and edit completely how you like it through here. You don't have to use the um, editing presets if you don't want to and you can adjust the look how you like. So it's lots of fun to play with. Here is an in-studio one. As you can see, some of the ones that worked for outdoor might not look so great with studio, and that's okay. That's why there are lots of options so you can go through and um, pick depending on your style. And this is actually a good example that I can use for going back up to those exposure presets. Some of them are really dark. And the nice thing about um, those presets is you can go and make it not so dark. So like this one is it's kind of dark. Um, so you can go through here and you can adjust it so it's lighter. Okay, so just some examples, and again, you can save this and re-upload it, and then you can add um, more presets. So you can mix and match them, you can add the same preset again, so it's more intense. This one, I already applied the preset. I'm going to go to Reset. Um, it does all different kinds, which is so much fun. play with. I can play with these all day. Okay, so another example. Um, I'll do one more and then we'll go over to Lightroom um, Classic. Some of them have so many pretty presets, I can't even, like, decide. <laughs> okay, so just an example, of course. And then you can go in and edit it even more. Okay, so before and after, like I said, it just takes a couple minutes, um, but it's lots of fun to do. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and go into Lightroom Classic, and I'm going to show you. It's pretty much the same exact thing. Um, it's over here. The presets are over here, and you can upload them by going to Import Presets, and we have another tutorial that shows you how to do that also. Um, so I have them right here. I'm just going to open them. And then the same exact thing, you literally just hover over it and adjust the settings as needed. Um, try to do an image you haven't seen already. So like I said, it's the exact same thing. And then you have your, um, you're in develop and that's where you have your presets. And then you have your um, settings over here if you wanted to add your own settings.
I feel like. Okay, so here's one you guys haven't seen yet. There's really all the different kinds of moods you guys could play with. Okay, so once you have your base, then you can go down here, same thing, and adjust how you would like. Oh, that's pretty. Some black and white. Okay, so there's that one, and then so before, and then after, before, and after. And if you wanted to change it up or add more, you can do that as well. This is like the most simplest tutorial ever, because it's literally all done for you. <laughs> you just click the presets for you. Um, okay, so. I think that pretty much covers it. If anybody has any questions at all, um, feel free to let me know. I really do love to help. Um, and our support email is support at samarana.com. And I hope you guys have as much fun as I did uh, playing with these. They're so much fun. Uh, you can use them in Lightroom Cloud or Lightroom Classic. Uh, you can also use them in your mobile Lightroom app. And I hope you guys will enjoy them and create lots of dark and moody images. Alright, I'll see you guys later then. Bye guys!